Hello everyone. In this video, we would like to explore the historical evolution of cesarean section, the importance of childbirth, and the role of cesarean section. The cesarean section, often abbreviated as C-section, is a surgical procedure performed to deliver a baby through incision made in the mother's abdomen and uterus. The origin of the term caesarean section has been exhaustively investigated. Interestingly, historians have rejected the assertion that Julius Caesar was brought into the world by this means and concluded that the operation does not drive its name from his birth. Instead, they argue that operation in Roman law was codified by King Numa Papilius to be performed upon woman dying within the last few weeks of pregnancy. The Lex Regia, as it was originally called, was changed to Lex Caesarea during Julio Caesar's, and the procedure itself became known as the Caesarean operation. The procedure was used to remove from a dead or dying mother a child either alive or dead through an incision in the abdominal and uterine walls. In unsigned times the operation was performed by the patient herself, her husband, soul gelders, barbers, midwives, surgeons, or by tribal natives. A variety of instruments were used, ranging from razors to axes. Primitive abdominal deliveries also occurred spontaneously during difficult labor or accidentally as gourd laceration of a woman by horned animals, for example. Interestingly, some women reportedly survived. The 19th century remarkable progress in science and medicine introduced caesarean section for obstructed labor as possible yet still risky. In 1876, recognizing infection rather than hemorrhage as the primary cause of mortality. Italian obstetrician Eduardo Porro described his method of amputating the body of the pregnant uterus and stitching the cervical stump as a mode of delivery. In 1882, gynecologist Max Sanger described the use of a double layer of steroids to close the vertical uterine incision to preserve the uterus after delivery and introduce approximation of the peritoneal edges. The operation was designed conservative caesarean section in contradistinction to the hysterectomy of the poro method. Although conservative 
operation brought about a significant reduction in maternal mortality, the result were limited by possible infection. However, the importance of Sanger's work was recognized, becoming the standard for the classical operation today. In 1985, the World Health Organization recommended an optimal cesarean section rate of 10 to 15 percent within given population. If performed above this rate, the procedure was found by World Health Organization to place an excessive burden on the resource necessary for the proper prenatal and postnatal care of mother and child, thereby increasing the number of women and infants exposed to the risks associated with the operation. Despite the recommendations set by World Health Organization, by the late 20th century, the incidence of caesarean section in most countries had risen dramatically. In the first decade of the 21st century, the rate of caesarean section far exceeded World Health Organization recommendation in many other countries, including the Turkey, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, France, Italy, and many other countries. The rate had also increased in countries such as India, China, and Brazil. According to new research from the World Health Organization, this number is set to continue increasing over the coming decade, with nearly a third of all births likely to take place by caesarean section by 2030, the research finds. While caesarean section can be an essential and life-saving surgery, it can put women and babies at unnecessary risk of short and long-term health problems if performed when there is not medical need. Caesarean sections are absolutely critical to save lives in situations where vaginal deliveries would pose risks. So, all health systems must ensure timely access for all women when needed. But not all the caesarean sections carried out at the moment are needed for medical reasons. Unnecessary surgical procedure can be harmful both for a woman and her baby. In next video, we will attach what are the guidelines for when a caesarean section should occur and potential risk factors associated with caesarean section for women and babies. I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and if you have any comments or questions, please leave a message in the comment section.
see you in next video thank you very much for your time